that we have compassion for all sentient beings. Aren't gay people sentient <coughs> beings? They should be respected by everybody else. And so there is a principle there of compassion, fairness to everybody. In the Western world is very strong on that. In Australia and also in um, New Zealand, gay marriage is allowed now. The majority of people in Australia want gay marriage. It's only a matter of maybe six months and gay marriage will be acceptable. I've already done a gay marriage when I was in Norway. I'm a Buddhist monk and I performed a gay marriage or gay marriage blessing for a couple over in Norway. I've already been done that. I was very proud to be able to do that. And I'm a Buddhist monk. And there is nothing in the sutras, the teachings of the Buddha, which discriminates against anybody, no matter what race, no matter what religion, no matter what sexual orientation. So I do ask you know, all Buddhists you know, to please show compassion and respect for everybody. Different races, different religions, different ways of looking at life, <coughs> even different sort of sexual orientations. It's respect. And I'd also know, just on a, on a health uh, argument, that when a person does suppress their natural sexuality, it causes huge psychological and health problems too. The evidence is very strong. And that if you know that you discriminate and suppress a person's natural sexuality, it causes terrible, terrible harm. Which is one of the reasons why in civilized countries, modern countries in the West, they recognize that it's harming the whole of the community. And morality doesn't fall apart you know, when we don't have discrimination. You know that one of the recent countries, I was just reflecting on this, one of the recent countries which discriminated against homosexuals was the Russian Federation. The people who have been accused of shooting down the Malaysian aircraft. Is that moral? People have high morality and they just do allow the respect to the gay community. Other countries look at them, they don't fall apart, they're not immoral countries. The morality is usually much better. So that's my idea, that's my opinion on this matter. And it's a personal thing because it was many, many years ago in Perth a leader of the gay community in Perth came up to me. Now, please, I, I, I was never gay when I was young. I had girlfriends. <laughs> now, now, to be honest with you, I was scared of homosexuality because I could not understand it when I was an amen. But becoming a monk, you have much greater opportunity to become wise, become compassionate. And I remember this guy came up to me. He was a leader of the gay community in Australia. And he said, with such pain in his heart, I can never ever get this out of my memory. He said, religion has been so cruel to the gay community. And when he said that, you could feel his pain. And that went right into my heart. I've never forgotten that. that it hurt him to the core for years. That's unacceptable. Okay, that's my personal view.